We are live. Good morning. I love that. I love it. I love it. I love it. It's Wednesday. It's hump day. And we are live. Love to see so many people up with me nice and early. Getting ready to rock. Well, welcome, guys. This is actually the 300th. And 70th consecutive show, weekly show on this channel, and the 170th consecutive episode of What's in Your Cup. Want to welcome you all back to where we talk about the good, the bad, and the ugly. And as you know, I am the CEO's Pops, Brian of Samson Snakeatorium, and we are live. Mm. Let me light up this candle for all you beautiful people. Hot head candles blessed us with the sweet coffee aroma. Mm, yummy, yummy, yummy. All right, so who's with us? Who's rocking and rolling? Who is up? Who is ready to... Do their thing, get the ball rolling, get the juices flowing, get the blood pumping. Who is up in her? Who got in? Which morning misfit was the first one to chime in? Which one of you started chirping first? And slide it in first. We got Stan the Man, Sea of Serpents. Look at you back in the first slot. And she came in a close second. Hasn't been up in here, but we always got love for Miss Holly of Texoma Exotics. Good morning to you. And return of the Mac. The Mac is back. That love from over the pond. I don't know if you saw last week's show. Uh, we, had, we had one of your countrymen on. Go check it out if you didn't. It was pretty good. Gavin was here. And uh, you guys didn't show Gavin too much love. Light on the views. Heavy on the shoulders, big on the muscles, but light on the views. Go, go show some love, guys. Gavin's a good guy. We had a good show. Souls Malls. We got New York City up in her. Shaolin. What's going on? What's going on, Souls Malls? And my man. You know who he is. Hashtag you. H&M Exotics. Good morning to all the misfits. And he's welcoming you new, newcomers. All right? Causing mayhem. Let's cause some mayhem on this beautiful morning. That's what I'm talking about. And we got the S-A-T-F-M, Mr. Chris E. in Snakes and the Fat Man, followed by Trouble Troy, Balls and Strikes Python, Boards Exotics, what's going on? And my man, and my Bana, mi Bana, more New York City love, grab your balls, what's going on? We're going over the border. We're hopping the border, and not for Taco Bell, for put to poutine. And we'll say what's up to Crystal, the Gecko Diva. My man Mac is back. Mac O'Morph in the building. What's going on, Mac? And guys, I don't know if you checked them out, but if you didn't, make sure you go see uh, the last episode. It was a pretty good episode on Snakes in the Fat Man's channel. He was the uh, 15 Minutes of Lame guest, Danny Cadera. Good morning to you, Mr. Kane's Constrictors. Troy, nice to see you in the building, staying off of that milk carton. We got my man, uh, Byron, up in here. Well, hope you guys are... Uh... <laughs> I did indeed, Mac, uh, Return of the Mac says, I did indeed. You had the gaffa. Huh? Well, I'm glad you got a chance to see it, and I'm glad you're, uh, you're here, sir. Really nice to have you back. What's going on, guys? The New York uh, Knicks are kicking ass. Jalen Brunson is looking like an MVP. Precious Achua, who actually played on our basketball team, is proving to be more than just an add-on, showing that he is the biggest Steal in the draft right now. 
that is what's up. And what's in your cup today? I'll tell you what's in my cup. You already know. We got Samson's Roast Cold-Blooded Caffeine. They were at Tinley last week. I hope you stopped by the table and bought some cold-blooded caffeine. Even if it wasn't Samson's Roast. All right, Trey and McKendrick are some really cool dudes. If you didn't catch episode 123, go, go check it out. Link is in the video description. And so is a link to go get yourself some Samson's Roast and see what it's all about. Hashtag you did it. So did Shane. And Shane, Shane's going to have a coffee out, I believe. I wonder, uh, wonder what flavors he's going to go with. But he went and showed that love. So did Tags Python, so did Large Marge Morphs. Go, go get it done, guys. And you know what? I didn't forget. I'm just the worst, and I told you this. But two people have won a bag of Samson's uh, roast. I mailed them out yesterday. Okay? I mailed them out yesterday. I took my fat ass to the post office, and I made sure I mailed them out. Uh, Shipping is definitely more than I was hoping for, but I got them out, guys. They're on their way. Pretty soon, you'll be joining me. Well, I know hashtag Q11 and so did Texama Exotics, um, but uh, you'll be having in your cup what's in my cup. And I do want to say thank you. Um, you know, we're always talking about goals, crushing our goals, doing what we have to do. And my grandson, Adrian, came to me with a goal. He wanted to win the fundraiser in his class. He had to be the first one to $500. And I put out on Facebook uh, the link asking for help achieve that goal now the thing that was commendable is my grandson is only eight years old just turned eight years old actually a couple of weeks ago so i had his um his his birthday money and samson had some birthday money for him and i said how bad do you want this do you want this bad enough that that you will give them your money and he said yes now, the reason why he wanted to win is he wants to give his dad the prize. The prize is a basketball I could have bought for $14. But he wants to win it to give it to his dad. Not only help his school out, but show his dad that love. I mean, it melted my heart. What also melted my heart, though, was all of you guys that helped out, that went came back to me. I took the link down as soon as he hit goal. He hit goal quickly after asking for help, and, and you people are awesome for that. Um, thank you so much for that. Like, from the bottom of my heart, it, it, really, it really is touching. Um, I took the link down, so for those of you that came back afterwards and said, hey, I can't find it, I can't find the link, I had people thinking that it was spam because there was no link. Um, I appreciate you, too. I appreciate you too. I definitely appreciate you making that effort, coming back, letting me know you made that effort. When you get a chance, uh, go buy a bag of Samson's Roast. That money goes to good, deed as, uh, good deeds as well. Not only do you get a great cup of coffee, uh, but portions of uh, the sales go to rainforest uh, preservation nonprofits and they... Cold-Blooded Caffeine donates $1 from every bag to USR. And we donate 100%. 100% of our commission goes to USR. And we have no problem being fully transparent and showing you that. But what I want to do is, those of you that did, we're going to give away another bag of coffee. Every $10 that you donated is a slot on the wheel. Looks like it's not. Maybe it's too bright. Let me see if I lower this a little bit. There we go. As you know, we always do these live. We don't fabricate. We don't 
pick a winner like other people do on their spin to wins. We won't mention any names. Ah, we might mention names. You know who I'm talking about. But yeah, let's go. Let's get it rocking. Who's going to win the next bag of Samson's Rose? And that says Nana. Nana wins the next bag of Samson's Roast. It's a green background. Let me see how it changed that background, guys. Sorry about that. But I will screenshot it. Congratulations to Nana. She wins a bag of Samson's Roast. All right, guys. What is going on? Let's see here. Look at this, Leviathan Snakes. What's going on, Leviathan? I saw you guys. Two of my uh, favorite people in this reptile world. Having a great time at Tinley. Look at you guys wanting to smash that like button so nice and early. Go smash it now. Get it out the way. Limey, good morning. Welcome. Oh, my gosh. Lenny has... Uh, Hard on for you, my goodness. Always putting up little jokes about Limey. How dare he? Demonic reptiles. But he's kind of funny. He makes me laugh, guys. Can't lie. I cannot lie. All right. Air compressor kicked on. Did I win? Did I win? You won my thank you. You're welcome. Thanks, Boards Exotic Reptiles. All right. So let's see what is going on in the world. Matter of fact, since uh we got people asking for it. Go do it now. We're going to get it out the way, guys. Go. Don't be a creep. Smash the likes and crush the subs, motherfucker. In my uh, Samuel Jackson voice. And remember, guys, as early as it is, even though it's Wednesday, this is an adult show. And there most likely will be explicit language. So put on your earbuds, especially if you're eating breakfast with the kids. All right? All right? Lenny is my buddy. He can't help being special. Yes, very special. He wore a helmet to school on that little yellow bus. I don't even know if I can say that. You know, today, you can't say anything today. So I don't even know if I can say that. Uh, guys, I showed you this bag. My wife actually made these for my man. Um, grab your balls, Jose. Good morning. Sent those out to you yesterday as well. If you want some custom snake bags, uh, hit me up. See what I can do for you. We'll try to make it happen, all right? Quick question. It was Pi Day, right? Every year, March 14th, my son's school always has a competition. I think a kid went 700 digits in. One, kid, one student went 400 digits and thought they, like, crushed it and... They were strutting around the school because now it's cool to be a nerd. Okay. It wasn't like that in my day, but hey, I'm all right with that. And they crushed it, right? 400 digits in until this girl came and did 700 digits. But who knows? What do you call a snake that's exactly 3.14 meters long? Can anybody tell me? What do you call a snake that's exactly 3? 0.14 meters long. I'll give you a second as uh, we got other people creeping in. I see my man Dave from Baller's Garage. What's going on, brother? Haven't seen you in a minute. We got uh, Chris Blocker up in here wishing you all a good morning. Hope you all had a great week and a blast at Tinley. He picked up 100 vision tubs to build racks. He has a busy, busy week. Isn't it nice, though, when you can go and you're local or pretty local to a show and uh, you can pick things up directly, right? Hashtag Hugh says it's pie. Well, pie day is March 14th, 314. Um, a snake that is exactly 3.14 meters long. Pie. Oh, I guess pie. That's pretty cute. That's pretty cute. Stan says. It's a ball python. Guys, come on. It's right there in front of you. Giving you the dad joke of the day. It's a python. 
Get it? Get it? No? Get it? Python? No? All right. All right. Whatever. We'll keep it moving. I saw this post. He's always in our chat. He is my chat, my live chat adversary. We already know balls and strikes. But he asked this question. Does anybody still like Batman? Do people still want Batman? What are your thoughts on that? I'd like to know your thoughts. If you don't uh, chime in now, feel free to leave a comment when the video posts. And, and let us know, do we still like Batman? Again, this is, to me, one of the issues with our fickle community. The trends, right? The trends that, that increase the value or decrease the value of animals. This is a beautiful, beautiful combo right here. Beautiful. Right? We've seen so many combos uh, or so many genes added to this combo to take it to the next level. But look how beautiful this animal is. Look at that dorsal stripe. Look how it forms into a, a forked tail at the end, looking like a, a snake's tongue. I mean, this thing is beautiful. But did it lose its craze? I mean, gosh, I remember we were selling a Batman and I think we were going for 6,500 overseas. This is two years ago, maybe three years ago. But do we still like Batman? I still like Batman. We actually still have our Batman making pair from DTMG, which have come to size, which will be going at it. Because I want a DTMG made Batman. So I'm letting you know, I still like Batman. And this is why I do share that we can't get caught up in trends, right? Obviously, Balls and Strikes still loves him some Batman. Uh, Ballers Garage says, yes, they just don't demand the price tag. Danny says, Batmans are still awesome. I think so, guys, but I also think uh, Spider is awesome. So I don't know how, how good, how valuable my opinion is, because I'm still all about that beautiful Spider. I keep saying it. We got to bring Spider back. I'm bringing Spider back. Ow. All those genes don't know how to act. Ow. All right. All right. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to do that so early in the morning. Obviously, guys, we are just getting back off of Tinley Week, and you know what that is. We're going to have to do the vendor spotlight. But Tinley was not the only show. There were shows all over the country. You had the Jackson, Mississippi Reptile Show. If you attended the show, send me some photos. Whenever you guys go to a show, though, please send me some photos. Let's throw it in the vendor spotlight. Take a photo of your favorite vendor at a show. Take a, a photo of your favorite animal you see at the show. The fa your favorite setup. Let's shout them out. These are the people that are rocking and rolling. These are the people that are promoting what we do. These are the people that are bringing in new blood. These are the people that are helping expand and replenish this quote unquote recessioned community. Let's show them love. Now, this wasn't cool, and I wanted to know your thoughts on this. Uh, I saw this post, and, and forgive the bad um, screenshot. I saw this post before um, Saturday. I think I saw this on Friday. And I don't know how I would feel if I were a vendor. And, and actually, one, one of the people in the morning chat vended this show and and i'd like to see uh, his thoughts on it but um if i paid for a table or i paid for tables i don't know how i would feel at the last minute you gave tables away for free i have to follow up check on some people that that attended the show 
Was there a refund to those that did pay for the table? I don't know. But what are your thoughts on that? What if you paid for a table to vend at a show and then you find out that in the last ditched effort to fill the show, the promoter gave away tables for free. Basically, increasing your competition without charging that person. I don't know. This took place at the American Reptile Expo. Um, and, and I'd like to know. But who was at the American Reptile Expo? None other than Macomorphs. Congratulations, brothers. Good to see you grinding, getting it done. He had a kick-ass day. He sold about a dozen animals. He got a little baby Macomorph up in here. Uh, congratulations to getting that ball rolling and uh, rocking and rolling and signing up for the, all those other shows. Guys, Rexpo is sold out. Mac would like to get into Rexpo. If you have any connections for the Rexpo, Expo, let me know. I'd love to get Mac a table there. Even if he joins forces with someone else and just takes a little corner, maybe one display case, how can we make that happen? Let's look out for our man, Mac O'More, okay? Look at that. If anybody was representing St. Patrick's Day, it was Mac O'More's. Happy St. Patty's Day to all you Irishmen. But yeah. You have any connections with Rexpo? You know anyone that is breeding at Rexpo that might have some table space? Holler at your boy. Let's get this guy up in there. So we also had the Chattanooga, Tennessee Reptile Show and the Hampton, Virginia Reptile Show. But of course, the topic of the weekend, Tinley. And... uh a lot of times I think people are just spreading blah, blah, blah. But this one looked like the good one. This one looked like one that was worth going to. And I kind of uh, had that FOMO on this one, right? Fear of missing out. This one looked like the cool, a, a cool show to be at. A lot of cool people. The Bite and Snakes was all over it, okay? And other people that I'd love to see. Uh, Charlie from Grey Rider Reptiles was there, right? Shedtesting.com when you want to get those sheds uh, tested and, and uh, see what's going on and get a fast turnaround with great customer service. As a matter of fact, my man was collecting sheds at the show if you want to talk about customer service. And look at him here. I have not met Kevin from Sugar Skull Serpents yet, but I feel like I know him. Uh, so those two little ants in the photo are Charlie and Kevin, and they were at, at, at Tinley doing their thing. Oh, there were inbreds there. You got, you can't, you can't, you can't, uh, I guess, uh, keep everybody out, right? You got to let everybody in and, and uh, you know, but don't tell me that these things aren't inbreds. Come on. You know for a fact these things are inbreds. Come on, look at that. All right, there were inbreds at the show, but it looked like even they were having a good time. And the new thing, right, because that's, that's what we have. We have uh, trends. Trends, right? Ah, stickers, sticker swapping. You want to swap stickers? I still do it. But the new trend is from Redline Shipping where we have everybody walking around with fanny packs and patches all over them. Uh, big deal. It was a big deal. And, and you had an opportunity to look like this guy. <laughs> you could have looked like this guy walking around with the uh, man purse strapped across your chest with a bunch of patches. Now I wonder, what do you do? Do you switch out the patches every uh, few hours? Because you can only fit four or five patches on, on your little fanny pack. Um, do you switch them out? How did how did everybody survive before this fanny bag? Uh, people make fun of the pin hat guy, but now they're all walking around looking like uh, Cub Scouts and and brownie girls, like with their 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 patches 
I wonder, did you have to cross an old breeder across the street to get a pack? I don't know. It's not for me, but it's a great thing to have something new going on in the community and people having fun. And, and uh, I'm sure there was some sort of donation or something uh, associated with it. So kudos to those of you that didn't mind looking like a Cub Scout or a brownie. Uh, if you're not selling Girl Scout cookies, yeah, I really don't care about you. But I will say this, as much as this is not for me, Damn, that patch is crazy. The 20th year anniversary of Canova patch is pure fire. Okay, that thing right there in itself would have me wanting to walk around with a man purse. Look at that. That is sick. So kudos to whoever designed that. That is a dope, dope patch. Okay, a dope, dope. Right? Looking like tourists. <laughs> you guys are too much. Uh, look at this. We got BBM. What the hell is he talking about? Hmm? BBM talking trash over here. Let's see. Spent some money. Boards Exotic says, I spent some money over the weekend, but picked up some really nice animals to advance my collection. What are some of the animals that you guys may have picked up at Tinley this week? Let's hear about it. Drop it in the chat. Did you pick up any animals at Tinley? I did not pick up any animals at Tinley. Obviously, I wasn't there. But, you know, I wanted to feel the love. I wanted to feel like I was down with the get down. So I did pick up this little thing right here. Uh, NG Fire, Double Head, Desert Ghost, Hypo. You know, everybody else was picking stuff up. I wanted to pick something up, too. Hell, what the hell? Batmans are still awesome. Good morning, Jamie Rising, Phoenix Reptiles. How are ya? All right, so tell me, huh? What did you guys pick up? Boards Exotics wants to know. I mean, what did you pick up? Tell me about it. Grinding, Macromorphous grinding. So um, I had dinner with... Uh, with Chris and and uh, Krisha, this lady, they're a cute couple. They're a cute couple. And um, I don't know how I feel that Chris is bringing her to our spot now. Like like, that's Chris and my spot. You know, that's our date night. But you know, it is what it is. Okay. He shared the freaking puffy bread with her. It's it's it is what it is, guys. It is what it is. But he had the damn. Man bag there. He calls it the F bag 2000. I'm not hating. I'm not hating. I'm just not down with that. I'm just not down with that get down, man. I'm just not down with that get down. Rollerbladers love it. Just buy jeans with large pockets. I got I got you, man. I got you. You gotta love it. How 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 did we live before the fanny pack? I I I, I don't know. I feel like 1980s all over. All right, I'm feeling like the 1980s all over again. All right, guys, don't forget, drop in the comments. Did you purchase anything, pick up anything at Tinley? I know for a fact Leviathan Snakes did. And I bet you there's a sunset in there because it's like they can't go see Brock without purchasing a sunset comic. We already know. They can't. They just can't do it, all right? Who else was up in there? Bull Python Shed, Josh and Jackie, a uh, cool guy. Uh, been connected with him since he had the two-headed snake. Um, and of course, we know you had uh, Adeline Robinson art going on down there at NARBC. Juggernaut, Juggernaut Reptiles was there. Um, this dude is, is from the Bronx. We connected uh, at at uh, White Plains. He let Samson hold his um, paradox. You guys know that that I'm a sucker for a paradox. About five years ago, maybe. Yeah, about five years ago, five and a half years ago, and and I've had uh, uh, respect for him since then. I mean, this guy is is quiet but deadly. Okay, quiet but deadly. Always has some bangers with him. Brings his ambassador snakes there. Um, and again, he's quiet. He's not into the whole social media thing, interviews, podcast, all that. But his presence is very well known and felt in the reptile community. 
I thought this was cool. Obviously, the auction, I believe they raised about $60,000 this year. I think that's kind of light for a Tinley auction. I don't know. I, I'm, I don't know. I think that's kind of light. Um, but it's always great to see them raising money. And this was a photo, uh, excuse me, a, a, a painting of, of Brian Barczyk. And Lori was all over it. Lori was the celebrity, right? Lori was all over there, and it was great to see her continuing the legacy um, initiative. And this portrait was hand painted. It was sold for ten thousand dollars. What a huge jump in the auction! It went from eleven hundred, went to twelve hundred, going once, going twice, mm -hmm. and ten thousand dollars. So. That's great. That's showing love. Rest in peace to uh, Brian Barczyk. And um, this dude is the dude that painted it. All right. So go check him out. Art by Meadow. If uh, you're interested in the tattoo, he does amazing work. But again, I just thought that it was really cool that he did that. And the, and the portrait went for $10,000. Uh, speaking about pickups, guys, I need this in my life. Look at this. Tell me this thing is not gorgeous. Tell me it is not beautiful. Look at how that pixelation takes place perfectly inside the alien heads that are chained together. I mean, it's just, it looks fake. I need her in my life. Let's make this happen. Let's make this happen because I need her in my life. All right, guys, we have uh, Doesn't Stop Rocking and Rolling. We have more uh, shows coming up. Niagara Region Reptile Show. We have one coming up in Burlington, the Aquarium Fish Frag and Reptile Expo. We have the East Coast Reptile Super Expo coming up this weekend. Also, Gettysburg. So that's interesting. Again, uh, kind of splitting the uh, reptile community, but it is what it is. If you're going to be there, please let me know. Go visit Balls Deep. He's the one that put out this ad. He's also the one that uh, has this thing right here. And I got to have that. I, I need her in my life. I need her in my life. He's also the one that designed this fundraiser shirt uh, for USR. I was, we were one of the logos chosen for the back. We're in great company. Um, so if you never got it, I think it's still available. Next week, guys, you do have the Rexpo. Again, hit me up if there's a spot so we can squeeze Mako Morphs in there March 30th at the Breeders Symposium. Then you have the uh, All American. Nope, oh, that's next month. We could, we could skip that for now. Okay, we could skip that. That's for next month. What are you yapping about? What are you guys yapping about? Good morning to you latecomers. Nice to see you. Uh, I like that. That's cute. Good morning, snaky people. I hope everyone is doing awesome. Limey says, I worked rally show was packed both days. So, guys, what, what happened to this recession? What happened to this recession? I don't know because I'm going to tell you this. I've been seeing packed shows now for a couple of months. Pack show after pack show updates um, where people sold half their inventory, all their inventory, the most snakes they've ever sold at a show. I mean, again, perspective. Life is about perspective. Take, an op take, take this opportunity to expand the community, bring in that new blood. Keep doing exactly what you're doing. And again, shout outs. To all of you awesome people that are out there and grinding and making us all benefit from your work. I need to show more and more appreciation for that. So thank you guys for that. You guys are definitely kicking ass. What's going on, Greg? BNS Reptilia, how are you? Welcome to the show. And it's tax season. People got money. They got cheddar. What's better than cheddar? Go get it, guys. That's right. It is refund season. Go and get it. Limey says, I never saw a slowdown. 08 was a lot rougher. 
Again, guys, for those of you that uh, aren't COVID breeders, no one that's been here for 20 years hasn't heard it all before over and over again, and they're still around. It's got to be a reason why they're still around, right? It's got to be a reason why they're still around. Unfortunately, though, even though we got all this new blood going and we got all these veterans that are still around like Limey, every week we got people missing or we have people getting buried into the graveyard. And usually, if they're in the graveyard, something, something went wrong. They lost their passion. Maybe they were in over their head. They wanted to reinvent the wheel. And that's why I think we should take advantage of shows like this that try to help you, try to give you best practices, try to connect you with other people that have that same passion, try to get you inspired, motivated, um, try to keep you within your means, not just financially, but the time that's associated with what you do. Don't let them keep, keep dropping, guys. But this week, this one, this one, I got to get this guy. Where is my man Castro? Castro's Constrictors, my guy. Where are you? Where have you been? You've been too quiet. I haven't reached out to you in a couple of months. I need to reach out and check on you again. I even had Grandma Castro hit me up on Instagram. I need to check up on you, make sure that you aren't going anywhere. This guy had one of my favorite setups at a show. Whenever I went to a show, this guy had one of the nicest presentations out there. Always stood out. Merchandise, quality animals, nice displays, clean, great color scheme. I mean, we, we, can't, we can't let you go, brother. We're, we're not going to let you go. We're not letting you go. So I'll be reaching out to you. I did reach out to Nikki last week. Um, again, um, I hear she's not going anywhere. She just hasn't been active on instagram for over years so it just gets a little alarming then i saw this uh wailing angel exotics right i met i met janae at uh at an narbc show and uh young enthusiastic young adult sad but there's been absolutely no activity this was a uh boyfriend girlfriend scenario and that can be rough especially when they're young right dylan dylan whaling and uh, janae angel whaling angel exotics get it get it well there's been no activity no anything and uh sad sad to see you go very very sad to see you go that's a tough part now while we're seeing people go uh someone sent me this last week um they thought this person was my stalker that, that we know who my stalker is, the guy that wets his bed. But no, it's not. And when I looked at this, this person, uh, laughing clown, uh, says that they're going out of, of uh, business, leaving the community. Whole collection, $12,000 with racks, desert ghost, clown, exantic clown stuff, proven breeders, grow outs, hatchlings, all available. I've got hatching racks i've got grow out racks i've got 155 40 rack that's too late for a full list call me and puts their number shortly after that everything must go desert ghost clown exantic clown stuff proven breeders grow outs hatchlings all available guys this thing just oozed scam to me okay it oozed scam so when i looked at it a little further apparently they they're using sinister serpents photos and videos and not even having the common sense to block out sinister serpents logo look at this right at the beginning you see sinister serpents logo in the introduction of the video guys you, you have to be smarter and and unfortunately they did
get a couple of people. If you look at the comments, people are like, hey, you never. And they're still going with it. They're like, hey, if, if I lost my phone or, or I broke my phone. So if I haven't sent you an animal yet, just uh, thank you for being patient. While they're getting trying to get new people's money. Guys, scammers are going to scam. Remember that. Scammers are going to scam. Don't get caught up in the scam. All right? It makes us all look bad when you get caught up and you're not connected to others. And you don't do your due diligence. And you think you're getting the deal of a century. Scammers are going to scam. So please, don't, don't get caught up. All right? Do not get caught up. All right, so you guys are talking about, so Limey says, and we're talking about uh, the recession. It never happened in the reptile game, just new people panic. And it's people that were, uh, they were in way too deep. They were definitely uh, way too deep, guys. Definitely way too deep. Baller's Garage says, I felt a slowdown second half of 23, but it picked up again in 24. My man Castro, that's what I'm talking about. Thank you for the update. Grab your balls. We already know he's uh, the original rebel of New York. My man Castro, I have to reach out to him. Seen him yesterday. He picked up 200 ASF for me. He's doing really good, just working a lot. That's what I'm talking about, making that money, making that cheddar, and hopefully making some awesome, beautiful uh, combinations. All right? Hashtag Q ain't nothing wrong that wrong with that. You know, I reached out to you when you made that announcement. I took last season off just to find my groove again. We're gonna start calling hashtag Q Stella when Stella got her groove back. Uh good morning, Ken and Low Life. Nice to see you. Look at this ball deep is up in here. Chris, I was showing that beautiful girl. I need her in my life. I need her in my life. She's just too beautiful. This thing is absolutely gorgeous. I need her in my life, Chris. And I'm rocking your T-shirt. So thank you. And I hope you crush it at Gettysburg. Guys, if you're going to be at Gettysburg, go uh, check out Bulls Deep. Go check them out. Guys, do not forget to go support US Arc. They are the people that uh, protect us. They're the people that fight for our right. Okay? Make sure you go check them out. Okay? Go check them out. Buy something. Don't be scared to buy something, all right? Don't be scared to buy something. And of course, there was a lot of love for you, Asark, there. Uh, again, Facebook sucks. People get attacked. They can't do anything, can't say anything. But the problem is too many professionals, too many experts that know nothing. This guy posted this snake, wanted some help, wanted to see if uh, it was chocolate. Pictures are horrible, but I see chocolate. I think he got chocolate. I think it is chocolate. Look at this person. She's the exact same as my phantom chocolate head hypo girl. As in the chocolate, not the more. No, not the same at all. Not the same. Not the same at all. Okay? Just wanted to flex. Just wanted to flex on him. It's not the same. I agree it is chocolate. And then here comes the expertise. You're welcome. I can spot chocolate a mile off. If you looked at the chat, guys, the chat was crazy. Everyone everywhere. Um, and then eventually the the OP was just like the opposite. He was like, yeah, um, I'm sorry I even posted this. Uh, panties on too tight or they just don't know which is right. Uh, just the back and forth and gosh. Stop acting like you know when you don't know. Goodness gracious. We should have like rules. We should have like like an ID card, whether or not you can talk or not. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't mean to sound uh sound like that, but I I, I really think we 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 should. F Facebook. Well, some people call it fuckbook. I mean, it is it, it it's definitely entertaining, but God, the back and forth is just ridiculous. Uh, Patricia says, stay the course, friends. Stay the course. I made my first sale on Morph Market yesterday of a snake I produced. Well, congratulations to you. Congrats. So sorry to hear you had to use Morph Market. But congratulations to you indeed. 
sold her uh, first snake. Great feeling, right? You produced it, you made it, and you got it out the door. It's kind of like when your kids go to college. You produced it, you made it, and you got them out the door. All right, guys, so I do appreciate you sending me DMs. I do appreciate uh, um, keeping me abreast of, of, of things that, that I often don't see. If you remember a few weeks ago, um, I was talking about how the math ain't mathing, right? Uh, <laughs> if you did not see uh, the last episode on Snakes of the Fat Man, go check it out because uh, he talks about it a bit too because he was just, oh my God, was he in a bad mood. Wow. He was really letting loose. He was letting loose, guys. He, 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 uh, yeah, he went in. If you didn't see the last episode, go check it out and uh, let me know your thoughts. Uh, did he go in or did he go in? But I was talking about it a few weeks ago, how the math ain't mathing, right? And there's so many different things that we have going on in the reptile industry where the math ain't mathing, where pets don't prove out, where the volatility of the animals just go crazy right was the animal ever worth six thousand dollars that it's now 300 in a year or two uh where you have this facade of followers or subscribers right you you go and you look at at instagram and someone has tens of thousands of followers yet they have 20 likes on a photo or if you go into their friends list you can't pronounce one name and the pages are all fake uh where people have this facade on youtube where they have tens of thousands of subscribers and they have no no views the math ain't mathing where people say they're making so much money in the community yet they sell one animal at a show yet they have a patreon they have they have a podcast and they have no inventory but they claim to make six figures a year the math ain't math and guys um scammers are gonna scam I hate being that guy that always has to share with you the good, the bad, and the ugly. But yeah, scammers are going to scam. And it is okay to walk around with your eyes open. It is okay to walk around not having blinders on. It is okay to do due diligence. It is okay to get referrals. Guys, don't. Don't take everything at face value. You work too hard for your money. Times are tough. The economy is tough. It's only going to get tougher. We got our Republican uh, nominee. We got our uh, Democratic nominee. It's going to get ugly this country in the next uh, few months. Guys, be wise with your money. Okay, be wise. But. <laughs> Someone sent me this clip, and I'm telling you, it made sense. Now what? Now it all made sense. Why the math ain't mathing? They just can't do math. You're saying? Well, like I don't. What's the math on that? Well, I'm just curious because now I'm excited. I like I like I like money, so I'm just saying. So if we were to do fifty times twenty five thousand. What is that? Like obviously, like of course, that's enough money to do like whatever you want you know but it, it's should... i don't Wait. know what i'm gonna be like at that time you know i don't know what i'm gonna be into 12.5 that's a good place to be <laughs> i'm cool <laughs> with 12.5 million <laughs> Is it... i think no, so I, I, like... I see unless i put it in wrong yeah Twenty-five thousand times 50 is that wrong 50 clutches this is why I don't do math, and I should never do math on a live ever again. Hey, bro, what a great <laughs> 50 clutches. Imagine making 
million off of 50 clutches of anything. The math ain't mathing. And as my friend Brian says, uh, listen, the math ain't mathing. The math ain't mathing. Guys, don't take everything at face value. You work too hard for your money. Protect your money. Protect what you're doing, guys. It's all it's all worth it, all right? I need that hat. That's what I'm talking about, all right? That's what I'm talking about. Greg says, uh, just dealing with someone trying to hack my Navy Federal account this morning. Guys, scammers are going to scam. Don't click on links. I was so proud. I had a, I had a, I have like these, they're, they're, they're not my parents. I have parents. But uh, they're like my adopted parents, right? For 30 something years, they're like my other parents. Takes a village to raise a child, right? And I was that village child. And uh, we had a 70th birthday celebration. And when I sent out the links to my grandson's fundraiser, I was so impressed that the birthday girl actually hit me back, didn't click on the link and asked if that was me that sent her the link. I do not click on links without asking and confirming first okay i definitely do not i definitely do not click on links without confirming what it is so make that make that a practice make that part of your routine confirming it uh a friend of mine's an actor um i think he's he's somewhere in asia right now southeast asia i think uh filming for uh season two of um the night, what is it? The night caller or something? No, the night. I don't know. Some federal guy works overnight and it's a special phone. I saw some of the episodes in season one and he hits me back and he's like, Brian, is this you? Okay. So, so ch- do, do whatever you have to do to, to be safe. All right, guys, do whatever you have to do. Cause scammers are going to say night agent. Thank return of the Mac hitting me with the facts. The night agent. There you go. So my buddy is in season two, Alberto Cologne, and um, he hits me back and he's just like, uh, are, are, is, this, is this really you? So I'm like, yeah, yeah, it's me. Don't worry about it. I took the link down, but, but thanks for uh, checking it out. Always before you click on a link, guys, uh, confirm, confirm it because that's the easiest way for them to infiltrate you. And if they get somebody in your network, like in your Facebook friends, if they get someone, they use their page. To, to come at you, okay? They use their page to come at you and, and you think, oh, that's my sister, that's my friend. And you just click on it without checking and bam, now they got you. It is that, it is that easy. So scammers are gonna scam. Do whatever you can, guys, to protect your identities, protect your money, and protect your sanity, all right? Don't believe everything everyone is saying out there. So many people are full of crap. But again, just remember, as my friend Brian says, uh, listen, the math ain't mathin'. And look at Chris wearing a proper royal shirt. Look at this guy. Made me go to war with this guy, and now he freaking, uh, he's all buddy-buddy with him. Chris is getting soft, guys. He's getting soft in his old age. That's all I got to say. He's getting soft in his old age. Guys, it is Wednesday. It is hump day. Go crush your goals. If my eight-year-old grandson can set goals and crush goals, so can you. If you're struggling. Uh, keep the faith. Keep plowing forward. The difference between those people that succeed and those that fail is that they kept going. They didn't quit. Keep going. If you need help with something, reach out to someone that should be able to help you. Feel free to DM me. If I can't help you with something that you're working on, I might know somebody that can. So feel free to send me a DM. That's what we're here for. We're here to support each other. It takes a village, and let's all be that village. We can definitely do it. All right? Um, uh, Reagan Renee says that new girlfriend, I blame her for making Chris a better person. <laughs> so that's so funny because, uh, I blamed her too. When we had dinner, I blamed her too. And I said, it's all your fault. Chris is soft. Now you made him soft, but you know, it's kind of cute seeing this little soft Chris, right? Okay. Having a hot girlfriend and getting some love and softens you up. He's softer than butter right now. Softer than butter. Uh, Python, Python Patrol never quitting. That's awesome. That's what I'm talking about. Keep plowing forward. I'm not, 
Limey says, I'm not going soft. Don't DM me. He's popping his Viagra pills. He ain't going soft. All right, guys, rock and roll. Do your thing. Um, do not, don't quit. Recession my ass. Look at those shows. They're going crazy. Think outside the box. Do something different. But whatever you do, crush the rest of your week. Seize the day. Carpe diem. We're out. Hey, everybody. Billy from Mutation Creation. It is Wednesday, which means Team MC's pick of the week. As usual, we'll do this. Oh. Oh. Brian. Got to check that out. I wasn't able to make it today. I uh, didn't get much sleep, so I missed it. Sorry, Brian. We'll catch it up. I'll uh, watch it a little later. What's in your cup? Episode 145. Anyways. And, and the Red Thumb Recession, again, is something that I kind of coined. Um, but a year and a half ago, I had the pleasure of being in a podcast with Brian from Samson's Thinkatorium. I'll put his link down below, because if you guys are looking for a platform where someone in our community is not afraid to speak their mind and discuss the good, the bad, and the ugly of our community, Samson's Thinkatorium, Brian is your man. He's got a weekly podcast called What's In Your Cup every Wednesday morning. Unfortunately, I'm on the West Coast and he's on the east coast and it starts at 7 a.m but it is recorded and he keeps a full library of all those recordings so do watch them uh, a lot of a lot of senior veterans in our in our our community uh, uh talk and chat with them on that lots of good content lots of things to learn so i do recommend you may want to subscribe to his channel and watch it on a weekly basis if you can catch it live it's a lot more fun but the recording is just as good